pick any tool in your shop. For example, how about a micrometer? This tool, this tool started off life as a DIY tool. Originally, it was just a bolt connected to a simple piece of metal. It's a very nice book, I like it a lot. I'll leave a link in the description for anybody who's interested. DIY or buy, that's this episode. Let's get into it. First machine we're gonna look at is a machine we recently used a lot. Kevin built this machine, so he's gonna tell you all about it. The tube notcher. Built, not bought. On the whole, it's pretty good, but it could be better. It can sweep any angle and cut tubes any size, small, medium, or large. Simply load your tool, load the tube, and make your cut. Of course, there's more to it than that, but that's the basics. The alternatives aren't very good. You're gonna have to do it by hand. If you wanna do it by hand, there's one more thing I wanna show you. A tube notching tool. You can buy these, but they can easily be made with a 3D printer. And I designed a unique feature that can't be bought. It's a laser alignment tool. Let me show you how it works. Press in the tool to fit the joint and use the laser to align it at the other end. Next, trace the pattern onto your tube and cut it to fit. I prefer the machine over the hand tools, but that's just me. If you're on the absolute lowest budget, put in the time and just do it by hand. Bust out your grinder and build yourself a set of these coping tools with the 3D printer. You can download this tool from our website, links in the description below. Also, I'll leave a link for the 3D printer that we use. I've built dozens of chassis over the years, and if you're anything like me, you're gonna get sick of the hand grinder real quick. I've always wanted a machine to do tube coping for me. The problem is, they're too expensive. Easily costing four to $5,000. I'm not gonna pay that much money for one machine to do one specific job. So the design I came up with was really easy and simple to build and I did it for a quarter of the price of an industrial machine. So if this seems like a tool for you, yep, you guessed it, it's on the website too. You're welcome. All big things have small beginnings. Every single tool that has ever been made started off as someone's DIY project. This is the beginning of something big for us. Thanks for watching.